Crosslines is a handheld scanning mode ideal for capturing high-gloss metal or black surfaces without using a scanning spray. One, the cross-line scanning mode is only available when selecting marker scan. The markers need to be placed on or around the objects, ensuring at least five markers can be detected per frame. When placing the markers, stick them on flat surfaces rather than curved surfaces. Don't use soft pads or cloths with markers, as any deformation on their surfaces will affect the scan accuracy. 2. Scanning Spray Requirements 3. When using cross-line scanning mode, hold the scanner and move it up and down or left and right at a consistent speed. Connect the scanner in right order. Click the New Project button on the home page and enter the marker scan by default. On the software's right side, find Scanning Mode and select Cross Lines. Select your object type, in our case, choose Metallic Shiny Object. Turn on the Auto Mode at the top left above the Depth Camera Preview window to automatically adjust the camera's depth exposure and laser brightness. Disable the automatic exposure if you want to manually adjust it. Adjust the distance between the scanner and the object until the distance indicator bar is between Good and Excellent. Click the Start button to begin scanning. Hold the scanner steady and aim at the object, moving slowly at a constant speed. The model will change from red to green as more data is captured. Green indicates higher quality. It is advisable to scan from all angles until the model is completely green before finishing the scan. After the scan, select one-click edit to automatically process the model. For a more detailed model, you can also manually complete the point cloud fusion, mesh, and other optional operations. After processing, the model can be exported in formats such as PLY, OBJ, and STL based on your requirements. The parallel line scanning mode can also scan glossy metal or black surfaces without using a scanning spray. This mode is better for detailed scenes and models but scans slightly slower than the cross-line scanning mode. Once you connect the scanner, click New Project on RevoScan 5 MetroX's homepage, and the software will automatically enter marker scan. On the software's right side, find Scanning Mode and select the parallel lines. Select your object type, in our case, choose Metallic Shiny Object. Turn on the Auto Mode at the top left above the Depth Camera Preview window to automatically adjust the camera's depth exposure and laser brightness. Disable the automatic exposure if you want to manually adjust it.
The full field scanning mode uses blue structured light and offers fast scanning speed, enabling rapid point cloud capture for feature-rich objects. 1. Marker Scan and Feature Scan are both available for this mode depending on your object type. 2. Scanning Spray Requirements 2. Connect the scanner, then click New Project on Revoscan 5 MetroX's homepage. The software will automatically enter Marker Scan. Click here to switch to Feature Scan. On the software's right side, find Scanning Mode, and select the full field, then set the object type to General. Turn on the Auto Mode at the top left above the Depth Camera Preview window to automatically adjust the camera's depth exposure. Disable Automatic Exposure for manual adjustments. Ensure the whole object shows gray. Adjust the distance between the scanner and the object until the distance indicator bar is between good and excellent. When you finish capturing the object, click here to end the scan. Auto Turntable Mode is ideal for generating a detailed, color-accurate 3D model if required. In this mode, it automatically captures the object in single-shot mode as you can control the dual-axis turntable by setting its rotation direction, speed, etc. via Revoscan 5 Metro X. First, attach the scanner cradle to the tripod, and then place the scanner on the cradle. It's recommended to fix the object on the turntable to prevent it from moving. Adjust the tripod to the right height and then place it on a stable surface. Do not move the scanner, turntable, and the object during the scan. Use the power cable to power the turntable. Connect the scanner, then click New Project on Revoscan 5 MetroX's homepage. The software will enter the marker scan by default. Click here to switch to Feature Scan. On the software's right side, find Scanning Mode and select Auto Turntable. Click the Settings button to connect the turntable and set the rotation direction, interval, and total rotations. Select the object type and toggle color scan if required. Turn on the auto mode at the top left above the depth camera preview window to automatically adjust the camera's depth exposure. Disable automatic exposure for manual adjustments. Ensure the whole object shows gray. If you are doing a color scan, you can adjust the RGB camera's exposure and white balance or set them to auto. After adjusting the camera exposure, click the Start button and the software will control the turntable to automatically finish the scan in single-shot mode according to your settings. If the model is incomplete at the end of the first scan, you can adjust the dual axis turntable settings and then click the start button to continue scanning.
When the scan is finished, click the Complete button for model post-processing options.